So, a little while ago, I bought these uh, things off of Kickstarter. I actually funded my first Kickstarter project, which is these um, these Blue Robotics T100 thrusters. These are like the very first batch of these things ever made. And I kept them in my closet for a while. They've been sitting around, whatever. And I decided, well, it's time to try to build something out of these. I actually tried one thing beforehand. Didn't really work out that great. So, these are the cannibalized guts of that. Now, what these are, these are wrist rockets or propeller rockets, I guess. These are going to go underwater and... Let me scoot dive around. So I got to attach my wrist real quickly. I'm head off to Hawaii to go see my brother in uh, seven days. So I got seven days to put some together in the midst of some other projects. So back to work. I wasn't pushing the button hard enough. One click, two click, throttle. Probably could use a little more Velcro. I ran out of Velcro. Okay. Let's see. So that will, I'll, I'll, I'll hold this. No, this is going to make me fly around underwater. He's trying to fly through the air or something like that. So we've got the clicking switch here. we got the little battery box that's going to go with the belt thing. Oh my god, look at all these wires. Put that on. Like I'm gonna get electrocuted. Just kind of dangling outside the vest box. Okay. Well, oh, that's all smoke. What was that all about? What'd you do? Oh no! Did I really screw that up? Did you short? Oh my! Oh, you idiot! Oh, I'm re stupid. I got the freaking plugs in backwards. They look great. No, no, no! I it may have just ruined the whole thing. Oh, I may have to get new ESCs. We will see. How did I make such an elementary mistake? I checked this like five times. 
but I guess you weren't positive. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for that crap right now. All right, ready again? Holy crap, I hope everything still works. It's not arming. Maybe not so lucky. Okay, I, I just plug, I forgot to plug the motor in, so we're cool. Now and these sound like crap too for a reason, because I, I, I dropped this one. You can see the housing is cracked. So that's not, it's not Blue Robotics' fault on that, and I broke that. It's like rubbing in crap. That works, sweet. Let me try the other one too, just to make sure they're both working. Well, uh, hang on. Yeah, look at that. Sam, you're a genius. I guess uh, I guess I'll see you and see you guys in Hawaii now. It's off to Hawaii. Too bad you can't come. Uh, I have a real job. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Hopefully YouTube is more popular next year that I can bring you on full time. I hope so. Oh, also before we go, here's a brief overview of what's going on in here. We have the Adreno controller, the some kind of fake knockoff from Micro Center. It's like a uh, four bucks. It's really cheap. Covered in epoxy, just to keep it a little more waterproof. I didn't really film that step, but whatever. I have this jumper circuit here, so basically I plug a battery in here, and it has a key right here. So if there's any problems, like the motors get stuck on, or I can't shut them off for whatever reason, I just pull this key out, which just connects that circuit there, and that'll break it, so I don't have to open this box underwater in case something goes wrong, and I want to stop. Got the waterproof DCs there, they're like 30 amp speak drillers, forgot to mention that, but whatever. Uh, over here we got more pins there, I got just these little three pin connectors I got from my hobby shop. Now I can just pull this out because I have a problem there. Also have the uh, plug circuit for the uh, switch thing here by this guy's. So the goal is to click the switches to, you know, get it going and uh, that's basically it. Let's hope it stays watertight. Okay, also before we go to Hawaii, I'm going to test these out in the sink. Sam wants to see them in the sink, don't you? Yeah, let's see what they do. Okay, cool. Let's go do it. Here, you take the camera. Oh, oh, oh. That was the bad. Dude, yeah. Oh my god. This is the evolution of humanity. <laughs> Everyone take your videos and pictures. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm in Hawaii now. I got these things on. Got the box on. Hopefully it stays waterproof. Got in there, got the key to pull out in case you know something goes wrong and you don't plug it. So largely this will be a test of the Adreno itself, whether it's gonna hold up to the salty conditions or not. Let's try it out. <laughs> okay, let's try it out.
Okay, so are we done? Yeah, I think I could have yeah, shot myself. You really get shot a little? <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Okay, let's go. You love my science gadgets. You love them. Oh, what'd you do to my thing? We tested this sucker out. What is this? What is this? That is what, what? That what is, is your faulty design, letting the wire get chewed up. So I guess you suck this <laughs> into there and shoot it up pretty bad. Good yeah. job, idiot. That, that was all you. Well, other than that, I'd say these actually work really, really well. You're actually moving to a pretty good pace underwater without having to kick at all. So, I have to make Mark two of this, but that was pretty sweet. So, you guys like the video? Send me sure. Mark two. I'll, make, I'll just keep Mark one. You have to fix this yourself. Make sure to seal this thing up. Yeah. You were getting shocked a little bit too, weren't you? Yeah. A little DC shock there. I don't know how that's possible, but okay. Actually, I probably do know how that's possible, but whatever. It's highly irrelevant. So if you guys like the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, see you guys next time.